Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Kiara Sky Acrylic Nail Kit. I am also going to be using items included in this nail kit to do acrylic nails. I have not done acrylic nails in like forever it feels like so honestly I was very very scared to try this kit only because I feel like I need to practice my acrylic a lot more but I will get into that more once I get to the actual acrylic application part of the video but first I want to go ahead and share with you guys and just show everything that is included in this kit. So I did get the bundle of the acrylic nail kit and the dampen dish. Um, that is currently unavailable. It is sold out. So I will be linking below the acrylic nail kit. You can just purchase the nail kit. I just also wanted to get the dampen dish because I really, really like it and I think it looks super cool. But let's go ahead and start with the acrylic nail kit. So for this, it is a total of $124.99, which I think is so worth it. I know it is a little bit more of a higher price, but I cannot wait to show you guys everything that's included and the quality of these items are just outstanding. I do want to mention that everything that I am saying in this video is my own opinion and I am truly reviewing the product in my honest and own review. They did send this to me as PR, which I am very, very thankful for, but when I am talking about the items, how much I like them, the quality, everything like that, it is my honest opinion and really how I truly feel about the product. So again, the price point is a little bit high, but for the quality, the amount of items that you get, and basically getting everything that you need, I feel like that it is an amazing deal. So I just wanted to share everything, just a quick overlook of everything. Also, I did get the dampen, damp, dappen, dappen dish. I'm not sure how to properly pronounce that. I think I'm doing pretty good, but basically that is what you will hold your monomer in. So here is what it looks like. The packaging is outstanding. I love the way that everything is packaged. I think it's so cute how it's all laid out instead of just all thrown into a box. So that is very cute. I am quickly just going to pull everything out of its original packaging. That way we have just a look at everything and then I'll be showing each an individual item. So starting off here, I am starting with the two Stick It nail glues. These are what you will use to glue on the nail tips and these dry three second quick, quick drying in a spill proof bottle. I have never tried the nail glue from Kiara Sky, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I was super excited that they included that. Even though it is a small item, it is still really nice. The next item, we have two Half Mood nail files, and these are 8080 grit. Really nice, and I like how they are Half Moon. That way it is easier to file around the cuticle. We also have two rectangle nail files and these are 100-100 grit. Again, very nice. I like how they include the Half Moon 8080 and also two of the rectangle 100-100 grit. So very nice to do your shaping and filing once you're finished with your application. We also get a box of the C-curve nail tips and these are the natural square. We do get 500 pre-shaped and pre-sculpted nail tips and the box, again, so cute. I love it so much. I love how it has the logo. It is also a really good quality box of nail tips. I was just super surprised with the quality, like just opening it up, I could tell that it was a lot better quality than most nail tip boxes. So there are 500 different nail tips in here and I'm not 100% sure how many sizes, maybe 12 or something like that. But these are also in um, square shape. They are also natural colored, they are not clear. And I usually don't use natural colored nail tips. I prefer clear nail tips. Before today's design, it really didn't matter if I used clear or natural. They are really good quality. They have the little well 
Also, the well of the nail tip does have an etched surface to it. These are also C-curve, which I personally don't really like C-curve nail tips, but I made them work, and honestly, I didn't think it looked too bad for the set I was doing. I just personally prefer non-C-curve tips. But again, I just want to take a moment and appreciate this packaging. I love that they have their logo on it, and it's just overall really good quality. The next item that we get is their EMA monomer, and this is an 8-ounce bottle or container of it. It is EMA, so that is great. We never want to use the MMA monomer. I've also heard a lot of good things about the Kiera Sky monomer. I have never tried it before except for today in today's nail set. I will be using this monomer. And I loved it so, so much. I was so happy with the monomer, and I just felt like it made my acrylic application go a lot smoother. The next item is the acrylic primer, and this is the key ingredient to acrylic nails that last four plus weeks. I did not use that today, so I really don't know how well it works, but again, I've heard a lot of good things, and they definitely hype up that product, so I'm really sure that it helps your nails last for an extended period of time. The next item in this kit is the acrylic top coat, and this is a glossy top coat. I also really like that the brush is an oval shape, so it really helps you apply it very smoothly. That is a gel top coat, so you will need a nail lamp to cure that. The next item is some rose cuticle oil. I was super excited to see that this kit included cuticle oil, and this one smells so, so amazing. I have never smelled a cuticle oil that smelled that good. I just loved it so much. Definitely one of my all-time favorite cuticle oils now. The next item is 100% Kalinsky acrylic brush, and this is a number 10. I believe that you do not get to pick your like size. I think it's just a standard number 10 but they do also sell other sizes of acrylic brushes on their website and this one was so gorgeous i couldn't wait to try it i just again have heard so many good things about it kira sky definitely has the hype for the quality of their products and the last items here are three of their all-in-one powders. So these are their acrylic powders, but since they are all-in-one powders, you can also use them as dip powder with their dip liquids. These are one ounce jars, so we get a total of three ounces of powder in three different colors. The first one here is a cover acrylic, and this one is bougie beige, a very pretty natural nail bed color. The next one here is pure white, and of course it is just a white acrylic powder. And the last one is the clear powder. Again, all of these are all-in-one powders, and they are very standard and basic colors. We have a nude, white, and clear. Pretty much nail techs use those colors like every single nail set they do, so it is nice that they include those colors as the three colors included in this kit. The next item I'm going to be showing is the Dampen Dish, and this was kind of like a bundle, so they bundled to get together the acrylic nail kit and also the Dampen Dish. Um, this one is currently sold out. I'm sure it is going to come back in stock soon, so if you do end up liking it, you can wait and purchase it, but if you do not want to get this, you can also just buy the acrylic kit alone. So I had to have this. Um, it is spill proof and it just looked so beautiful. Again, with the packaging, look at this packaging. It is so unique, so outstanding, and I just love nice packaging. I'm definitely a sucker for nice packaging because if it looks cute on the outside, you just know the quality and the way it's going to look, the actual product, it is just going to look even better. So here is the dampen dish. Like I said, it is a spill proof dampen dish. So when you have your monomer in it, it will, you can like even shake it and it won't spill out. It is also a very deep dish as well. So it will hold a lot. I really like the way it looks. We have the little like kind of like a seal, but you know what I mean, just to kind of hold the lid on there. 
So that is everything. I will be leaving the links to the products down below in the description box. I do have a discount code with Kiara Sky. That code is nailed by Brandy 10. It will be up on screen and in the description box below. If you do end up purchasing anything from Kiara Sky, it would really mean a lot to me if you were to use my link or my code. I really appreciate all of those who do purchase either using my link or my code. It really helps me out a lot. But now let's go ahead and get into these nails. So the way I prep my nails was just applying my peel off base coat because of course I will not be leaving these nails on. But if you do want to go in with a good prep, be sure that you are using that acrylic primer and following certain prep routine to make your nails last for those four plus weeks. I do have a prep video up on my channel. I also know that Kiara Sky hosted an acrylic boot camp on their YouTube channel so you can definitely watch that to help with some pointers on making your nails last and overall just applying the nail tips and acrylic application. I did go ahead and size out my nail tips. I'm trying my best to focus on using items from the acrylic nail kit. So I am just going to be using the natural square C-curve nail tips. Even though I don't think I really liked them, it did end up making the nail set look fine and I didn't really notice too much about the C-curve when I personally prefer a non-C-curve tip. So I... I mean, they're really good quality tips. I really, I like them, but at the same time, I don't like them just because they are something a little bit different than I personally would ever use. But I did use them to show you guys that they are really good quality. They do work and they are really nice nail tips. I also like that they have the XXL square nail tips included in this kit because you can cut these down. You can keep them a square, but just clip them down to be a shorter square. You can turn them into coffin, stiletto, almond. I feel like these nail tips are a good nail tip to have in this kit because they are very universal and you can change the length and the shape of them. So I am going to be just cutting them down, but first thing first is gluing them on using the Stick It nail glue. This nail glue did dry very quickly. The only I the only issue I had with it was it was having trouble sticking to my peel off base coat. But of course, if your nails are prepped and they are dried out and you don't have any product applied to them. The glue is going to dry very quickly and very easily for you. Like it said, three seconds, you will have that glue dried. I only struggled a little bit because I had a peel off base coat. Before going in and clipping down the length, I did apply a top coat to the nails just to help so the nails don't pop off from my peel off base coat. I do apologize if this sounds a little bit confusing just because if you're doing your nails to make them last, you're obviously not going to be doing those steps. But I just did that to ensure that the nail tips wouldn't pop off when I was clipping them down to the length that I wanted. After I did clip them down, I did go in a little bit with a buffer and just remove the shine from the nail tips. I now went ahead and poured my monomer into my dish and I worked in my acrylic brush just to get it wet and um, remove like the packaging product that is on it. And now I'm going to be quickly swatching these acrylic powders. Again, we get three different colors. This one here is Bougie Beige. And I really, really loved this color so much. I feel like it is a very nice cover color. It is also a very nice color for all different types of skin tones. You can use this to do your nail bed for French tips. You can do full nails. You can use it for an ombre. There are just so many ways that you can use that color and it is so stunning. The next color here is the pure white, just a very nice white color. Definitely super pigmented and very, very white. I really, really like that one as well. Those two colors would create a beautiful ombre or even a French tip. 
And the last color here is the clear, which this one was definitely crystal clear. It is a little bit hard seeing on my paper towel, but this one was very clear. I was also not getting any bubbles. So again, very good quality products. So when I was swatching these acrylics on the paper towel, I could definitely feel that I was going to have an easier time working with this brand's acrylic compared to any other brand that I have worked with. I was just having a very nice Nice time with it and I could tell that these acrylics were super smooth and they blended very easily so I am just quickly moving right in like I said towards the beginning of the video I have not done acrylic nails in a very long time and the reason for that is because of the monomer smell I just struggle a lot with nail products that have a very strong scent or smell to them so I try not to use them a lot which is one reason why I fell in love with doing gel extensions but I do want to switch it up a little bit and come back to acrylic now that I am finally working with Kiara Sky and got to try their acrylic I cannot believe that I have never tried the Kiara Sky acrylic system before I fell in love the formula is just so good. I have never used any acrylic this good and I truly mean that. As a beginner with acrylic, if you are wanting to start doing acrylic nails, I 100% recommend Kiara Sky. Like I have not tried any brand that would be above the Kiara Sky acrylic. Like I said, I truly mean that. I was surprised with how good these nails turned out. I mean, like I said, I keep saying this, but I have not done acrylic in a very long time. And I was very worried to pick up this acrylic kit and use it because I thought the nails were going to turn out like absolute trash but I was surprised with how they turned out of course they are not the best acrylic nails um, but with practice it does make perfect and I am definitely doing a lot better and I felt like even though they were not perfect I felt like it was a lot easier for me to do because of the products that I was using for instance the acrylic brush it was very nice I wasn't getting any acrylic stuck in it it was a very nice size as well I wasn't really struggling with the number 10 it was kind of more like a small and large mixed together so making it a very medium and nice size brush to work with another thing it helped a lot with picking up the correct beads of acrylic my beads are not perfect. Definitely they need some work on picking up the proper bead of acrylic. I was struggling with that a little bit, but I felt like the brush made it a lot easier to really get the correct amount of monomer to powder in my brush. So my liquid to powder ratio was getting a lot better. And I felt like that was because I was using a really good quality brush. The next thing I want to talk about is the monomer. The monomer is not super strong in my opinion. It is definitely low odor compared to some other monomers that I have used in the past. It did make my nail room smell and the rest of my house have a little bit of a like scent to it. Um, you would walk in a room and you couldn't really smell the monomer but the closer you got to my nail room it did get a little bit stronger when i was working with the acrylic i did have a window open and also a air purifier on i also myself was wearing a mask since i was working very close to the acrylic but the smell did not last long the next day i woke up when I went to my nail area, I did not smell the monomer. I did clean everything up right after my acrylic application. So I feel like this is definitely by far my favorite monomer I have ever used. It is a really nice one. It didn't really give me a headache, which was really nice. And of course, it still has an odor to it. It is still going to smell like monomer and it's not, it does not smell good, but it is definitely a good monomer, at least for me. It doesn't really give me a very strong headache or a headache at all. And the monomer smell does go away within a day, which is great. 
The next thing I want to talk about is the acrylic powder. And by far, this is the best acrylic powder I have ever used. It is just so smooth. I let it sit on the brush a little bit, kind of tapping my brush to get it to polymerize. And it is just so good. I was surprised. It blends so nicely. I am not a professional. I'm a DIYer, so when I'm picking up my acrylic beads, I don't know how to do the one bead method or the two bead method or the three bead method. I kind of just go and put beads wherever I feel like they need to be until I have the nail built up how I want it. So one thing that I really liked about the acrylic was actually that I was able to go in with as many beads of acrylic that I needed to to get the nail built up and you could not tell where I placed one bead and where the other one was placed. It just blended so nicely and was looking very, very good. So I'm not really talking about my application because like I said, I am not a professional. I don't really know or I haven't practiced enough to be able to do just one bead or two beads. I kind of just go in with beads wherever I want them to go or where I feel they need to be. The first bead of acrylic that I do put on the nail is generally where the stress area is on my nail. I like to start it there because it really helps build up the apex. And basically the stress area of the nail is when you press the nail tip like the length of the tip, when you press that down and kind of apply some pressure on it, the white spot on your nail, like where your nail turns white, that is the stress area of your nail and that is where you want your apex or the strongest part of the nail to be. So that is where I place my first bead and generally that is where your nail tip meets your natural nail pretty much in that area. So that is one helpful tip I can give and something that has helped me out a lot ever since I learned that. So here I am just going along and placing my beads of acrylic. I did let this play out in real time, which I really hope that you guys are enjoying. I decided since this is kind of like a come along with me trying the Kiara Sky acrylic kit as a beginner because I'm definitely a beginner with acrylic. So I thought it would just be fun to let it play out in real time and you guys could really see how long it takes me on each nail. Coming to my pinky here, I'm just going to go ahead and finish letting this play out. For my thumb, I did go ahead and do it off camera, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like if you are enjoying, it really helps me out a lot. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. So once I was all finished with my acrylic application, I did go ahead and clean up everything, including my monomer. I went ahead and cleaned my brush and put away the acrylic. And then I went ahead and scrolled on Instagram for a little bit just to make sure the nails were completely hardened and they were dry, ready for filing. After that, I was now ready to file the nails. I didn't really have any special way of doing this. I was kind of just going in with the one 
100 100 grit rectangle file crisping up the shape and the sides of the nail i also use my kiara sky e-file i do have a full video review up on my youtube channel with this nail drill i'll go ahead and link that in the cards in case you want to check that out I absolutely love the nail drill so much. I have been loving it, using it for any filing that I have to do. This is definitely the nail drill that I pick up, but I am going to be using this today along with the Pro 5-in-1 drill bit also from Kiara Sky. This is my first time using this drill bit and I love it so, so much. Um, I'll go ahead and pop a picture up on screen of the drill bit listing on the Kara Sky website if I remember to do so, but it does have the 5-in-1, so it has the different grits. So you can use this to seal in your cuticle to remove bulk from your nails, and overall, it just helps so much. You can pretty much do all of your filing using this drill bit. Of course, do not use this drill bit on your natural nails but you can use it to file your acrylic. After I was all finished using my hand file and my e-file, I did go in with a buffer and buff the surface of the nails. And at this point, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with the nails. So I'm going to be starting off with my index finger, applying that acrylic top coat. I cured that for 30 seconds. I am now taking this Glow Art Jacko Lantern art liner from Kiara Sky and also the hollow grail sprinkle on glitter and I am going to be using the orange gel liner to create a French tip and then before curing that I will be sprinkling over the glitter and I really liked how this turned out so I will be doing it to all of the other nails except for my ring finger which I'm going to be applying some bling on that nail but I really like this. I haven't done a orange nail set like in forever or at all. So ever since I did a yellow nail set, I felt like I should mix it up a little bit and do some more colors of nails instead of just like blues and pinks and purples. I want to do more colors since other people like different colors, obviously. So I want to give ideas for everybody and not just using colors that I really like. Of course, I still will lean more towards the colors that I like since I am doing my own nails. But again, this is one of those sets where you can use practically any color that you want to and it will still turn out looking very very beautiful but I am just going to draw on my French tip for this French tip I did go ahead and keep it in real time that way you can watch the process flow flowing through you can watch me do the smile line filling it in and then before curing that, I will just take a cuticle pusher and pour over the hollow grail glitter. This one is basically just a very pretty iridescent white fine glitter. And you can use this to pour over any gel polish color to create a very pretty sugared look. I really, really liked how that looked. So I went ahead and cured this. I did do a full 60 second cure just because when I do glitter over top of my gels, I like to make sure that everything is fully cured. After it was cured, I went ahead and took a stiff nail brush and brushed away the glitter. And now I just will be repeating this to the rest of the nails. So I first wanted to start off by applying the acrylic top coat to all of the nails, curing that for 30 seconds, and then I will be going in with my French tips. Before I let this play out, I do quickly want to say that this video took me forever to do. I was sitting at my nail desk for the longest time. I think it was like over six hours and usually that is not how long I am sitting at my nail desk, but this set took me a very, very, very long time to do and I feel like the reason for that was basically the acrylic application. That really didn't take me long at all. Um, I mean, obviously it took me a lot longer than just applying some jelly tips, but I feel like the main reason was because once I had all of the nude nails, I wasn't really sure what design I wanted to do. 
So I feel like definitely I was having one of those days where I wasn't really sure what nail set I wanted to do. So I was sitting here a bit longer, just trying to think of what I should do and then doing French tips on all of the nails. That took a little bit of time, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying. And because I did take a very long time on this nail set, I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video and appreciate this video today. Also, give the video a like for all of my hard work and effort taking the time to do this nail set because I was definitely exhausted after finishing this up, but I feel like it was a very pretty nail set and turned out super cute. So now let's go ahead and do some bling. I pulled out some rhinestone rhinestone glue gel and I applied that in kind of like a swirl shape onto my ring finger. I'm using one of those micro q-tips to kind of spread it out and remove any of the gel that I do not need. I pulled out this very pretty two gold butterflies. I really like that and thought it would look nice with the set. I also pulled out my favorite flower charms and I'm going to be using these small white ones, three on each end, just filling in that swirl. After that was cured, I'm just taking a needle head rhinestone glue to apply some glue inside the flowers and then I just placed the gold caviar beads in there inside the flowers just to give them a little bit more and bring more gold into the set. I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds and now for the French tip nails, I will just be applying some rhinestone glue to place on the little white flowers, doing a quick flash cure and then going back in with the gold caviar beads in the center of those flowers. And here are the nails after everything was cured. I am now going to be taking the rose cuticle oil, which was in the kit, which I really, really love. This also smells so freaking good. I love this cuticle oil, but I'm going to be applying this to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set and this cuticle oil, it is literally the best. It is so nourishing and I cannot get over the smell or the scent of it. It just smells so freaking good. And I like that the name for it is rose but honestly it smells a lot different than a rose you still get like a floral smell to it but I don't know I just love it so much get your hands on that cuticle oil immediately you will not regret it but here is the finished result of these nails I am very, very happy with them. I think they look really, really good. And I honestly did not really struggle with this nail set. It did take me a lot longer than usual, like I did mention, but I felt like that was just because I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go with the nail set. I wasn't sure what design I wanted to do. And of course, it did still take a little bit longer since I was applying acrylic instead of just applying jelly tips. But I am super proud of myself. I really like it. Using the good products from the Kiara Sky Acrylic Kit definitely helped me out since I am a beginner with acrylic. If you are wanting to do acrylic nails at home and you are a beginner, get yourself this kit. Even though the price point is a bit high, I feel like buying this kit at a higher price point and getting good quality items, items that will really help you perfect your acrylic application, is going to help you in the long run and really leave you with some beautiful flaws flawless nails. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video. I will be linking the products I used and mentioned down below in the description box. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.